Hello, this is John Chernus again, and we are now ready to study another one of the well-known TCP IP protocols, and this is one that almost all of you use on a daily basis, and that's HTTP. HTTP is Hypertext Transport Protocol, and as you recall in our first capture, we actually used that protocol when we connected to the San Diego State website. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that same capture again, since we already have the information available to look at. So I'm going to do that by going to my documents. And then I'm just going to open up this capture file we've been working on throughout these lessons. This capture file will be made available to you, by the way, for your assignment for part of your project duties. So let's see, we're opening this file now. There it goes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this window. We don't need that now. Looks like I loaded the file inadvertently twice, so I'm just going to close one of those sessions. Okay, now I've got the file. This is the same file we've been working on that has the two art frames, the two DNS frames with the San Diego State uh, website reference. Same old thing, same file, 235 frames, just like we've had. Okay, now we're ready to study some other types of traffic, and the one I want to focus on now is HTTP. We talked about the handshake also previously, that's the three-step handshake, and the purpose of that handshake was, let, let's see, who did we make that handshake with? Uh, we actually made it with, if you go back to these DNS frames, remember we were trying to get the IP address of www.sdsu.edu. Well, we did get that, and that's this IP right here, 130.191.8.198. So, if we look at the handshake here, here's my IP address, 192.168.1.107. I'm connecting to 130.191.8.198. That is the San Diego State University website. We see it right here, highlighted in yellow with my cursor. So that's who we're connecting to. We're establishing this connection. Well, what are we establishing this uh, connection for, this three-step handshake we've been talking about that I'm clicking on right now? The purpose of that handshake is to be able to do hypertext transport protocol. And if you look at the frame that comes directly below the handshake here, you see it's an HTTP protocol reference. And let's see who that's coming from and who it's going to. It's coming from my IP address here, 192.168.1.107 and it's going to 130.191.8.198 which is the San Diego State University web server. So you see here under info it says get. This is what's known as a get request of HTTP. It's basically the request to get the website content for the default homepage for San Diego State. And if you double click on this and open it, actually I don't like to do it that way, I'll just keep it simple. I'll just come down here. As I click on these frames you'll see the information down here below changes. So I'm on frame 8 which is HTTP we can actually see hypertext transfer protocol that is an application layer protocol uh, we that's layer four application layer here we have transmission control protocol layer three under the transport layer right so what does that mean if it says transport control protocol it doesn't say user datagram protocol so what does that mean it means that this is a connection based protocol this connection happened under the handshake and the purpose of the connection was for this hypertext transport protocol based session with San Diego State from my computer. And if you open that up you'll see source and destination port numbers. This, these are the same numbers we looked at previously when we did the connection. Um, 1265 for me, 80 for the server because I'm going to do a web based connection. Port 80 on a server is for a web server. So we already went over some of that stuff. You can look in the internet protocol and see the source and destination IP addresses. There's my IP address highlighted right there. And here's the San Diego State University website. That is the internet layer, the layer two in the four, four layer TCP IP model. You can even go to the ethernet header here and look at the source and destination MAC addresses. Uh, this is a while back we went over this. And basically, let's start with the source here. The source MAC address is actually my MAC address of my computer. So the question is, is this destination address, this is a little quiz for you, is this destination MAC address, the physical address, the network card physical address of the San Diego State University web server? Think back to some of those earlier lessons. Do you think it is? 
The answer is no, it is not because we can't directly communicate with the San Diego State web server. We have to go through what's known as a routed network because the San Diego State web server is not on the same network as my computer. I have to send it to a, a default gateway, which is a router. And this address here is the default gateway or router of my uh, network in my house because this is IP. If I go back to internet protocol, uh, actually that won't show there, let me back up. Um, since I cannot send this to uh, San Diego State, the best thing I can do is to send it, this is what I want to do, uh, if I go to the command line and type ipconfig, since I can't directly talk to the San Diego State University web server, the best thing I can do is send it to this default gateway. This default gateway is 192.168.1.1 and I'm going to close that. And as you recall, that's what this ARP request was for, to get the MAC address of the gateway so I could send the packet uh, for my um, DNS query and then anything subsequently to get off the network to go to a different network, such as the San Diego State website. I have to send it to that gateway, and here's the MAC address of that gateway, 002369 and so on. Now let me go back to this frame here, HTTP, and you can see under the Ethernet header, that's where I'm sending this frame. I'm sending it to my router. That's the best I can do. It's the same address here as showing way up here, uh, which was the whole reason of getting that was to get the gateway uh, MAC physical address. So I hope that makes sense, but that's what's going on here. So we have to go through a routed network to get that frame leaving my computer to the destination network. Okay. Now let's uh, take a little break here and we'll come back shortly.